Today, I'm DIYing a pegboard standing mirror for beauty YouTuber Steph Sanyati, who wants a full-length mirror with functional storage for everyday items. This is part of a much larger series called Buy or DIY, which you can check out here. But this is behind the DIY. All the materials have been listed down below, and you can also find them at thecoralchannel.com. First things first, you wanna get your four by eight plywood sheet and cut it down to 32 by 63. Now I just need my mirror. Mine is 16 by 58, which is gonna fit perfectly onto my plywood sheet. Okay, okay, okay. I've left two inches of space on the left side and two inches on the bottom and three inches on the top. <laughs> Do not move it. Using a pencil, I just lightly trace the mirror so that I know where the mirror is going to be placed later. Now take it off and don't break it because nobody needs bad luck for seven years. Seven years, we don't have time. So now you need to mark where you want to put your peg holes. I'm probably only going to put three dowels along the way. I need to measure from the top where my first dowels are going to start. I measured 10 inches from the top of my board and then marked the line using a straight edge. Starting from the right side of the edge of my mirror, I'm measuring out three and a half inches three times and these are gonna be my marked points where I'm gonna drill my holes. Simply measure out three and a quarter because that's how big my dowel's gonna be. From there, I'm going to measure down about six and three quarters. Then once again, three and a half inches from that point, three times, and just keep repeating these steps. The amount of holes that you're about to drill is completely up to you. Now we can drill some holes. Dowel. I'm using a three quarter inch dowel, which means I'm gonna use a three quarter inch Forstner bit that's gonna create a nice clean hole. So what I'm gonna actually do is measure out where my three quarter inch is in the board and then I'm just gonna make a line just under that. I'm going to just tape it off. This is gonna indicate to me where I need to stop so I don't drill all the way through. Painter's tape easily comes off so you can always readjust if you need to. Now, the key here is that you want to drill a straight hole. You want to be completely 90 degrees. That's a great uh, start, and I have a lot more to go. You can also use a spade bit, which is completely more affordable, but I'm using a Forstner bit because it creates a much cleaner hole and a lot less blow it on the top. I'm trying to keep this board looking clean and crisp. This time, I'm going to go all the way through my board. These are completely decorative, so I want them to look nice so I'm going to go straight through. Beauty! The idea here is if you plan to put a dowel in the hole, don't drill all the way through. If you plan to leave it so it's completely aesthetic, drill through. Once again, this is going to be an actual shelf. I'm going to stop at my blue line tape. When you're using a Forstner bit, move the drill back and forth so you're kind of eating away at the wood slowly. Do you need goggles on this, technically? Yep. Never forget about safety first, so put on some safety glasses. So we got three. <laughs> Four more to go. So just keep repeating these steps until you're happy with the amount of holes that you've made on your board. Gonna drill a board. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay, I'm going. Ooh, I love when it hits some of this like dark pine and then the red starts coming up. It's like Pwah! That's the sound effect it makes. Pwah! Let me tell you about them dowels. Cut your two dowels that are a three quarter inch thick into the following sizes. You're gonna need nine at six inches and three at three inches. The sizes of these dowels are completely up to you. If you want them really long, go really long. You want them all really short, go really short. If you don't have a chop saw at home, you can simply use a hand saw or a circular saw. All right, sand it time. I have a 220 grit on this. What I wanna do is just lightly sand down my board, remove any scuffs, pencil marks. Just make sure you don't sand off the corner marks you made for your mirror. You're gonna need those later. Can you hear that noise? <laughs> You're gonna to wanna to sand down your dowels, your shelves, and the edges of your plywood sheet. 
Well, this looks amazing. Let's get our mirror on top before we put our dowels in. Just so that my mirror doesn't move, I'm actually just going to clamp down the bottom. You can pick up a small mirror hanging kit from your local hardware store, but the screws that come in the kit are actually going to be too long. So I just picked up 5 8 inch wood screws and they did the trick. So now you want to take wood glue and apply it to the bottom of your 6 inch dowel and a little bit inside the groove. Then plunk it in. Now I'm using a right angle to make sure that it's a perfect 90 degree. It should dry very quickly, but you might just want to hold each just until it sets. It's a really calming DIY. Let's just take a moment and breathe. I've kind of gone a little bit more uh, sporadic with these ones. I'm just gonna do two, and then I've decided to put one in the middle down here. Let it dry. Mm. To give my piece just a little bit of personality, I sourced some beautiful ornate moldings that I found online. If you love these, I've also linked them below so you can get them too. And I spray painted them black. Ultra cover, great. And it's flat, which means it's gonna be nice and matte. Let it dry. To bring in a bit of a gold touch, I've dry brushed some gold paint onto the molding. I basically want as little as possible on my brush so that when I go onto my piece, I'm adding kind of like a shimmer gives it that antique look. What's nice about the gold too is that it starts to accentuate all of the detail. They're so cute. Attach the molding using a strong glue. I'm so nervous. I basically need to be very precise in this moment because once this glue is dry, this is not coming off. Let it dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna add some black acrylic paint to the tips of my dowels. I just want to ensure that my board is not going to be sliding around. So I'm adding these rubber grips that I'm cutting into three quarter inch strips, gluing them to the bottom of the board. Guys, this looks amazing. Apply a small bit of wood glue and run it along the top of the dowel. Then add your shelf. This is going to allow the shelf to stay put so it doesn't fall off. I'm using three one by six shelves cut to 11 and three quarter inch in length. And there you have it, your very own DIY standing wall mirror. Add some plants and some awesome decorative jewelry and anything that you like to make this truly a special piece in your home. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you love this project. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to check out all these other awesome projects. You don't want to miss out and hit that subscribe button. Okay, bye.